All right, so I'm doing an animation and I'm gonna keep track of it. I'm not doing like a daily video deal, but I'll do videos as I go. And I have done the most boring part of the animation, which is planning. This is a long time. So basically what you're looking at here is Trello and you can see I've got all the different kind of boards and stuff. Uh, I had those kind of laid out uh, in my notebook. So I cut those up so that I kind of move them around and keep track of everything. I've got um, the different characters and angles that need to be rigged here. I've got the different assets that I need as far as backgrounds and booths. And you'll notice that there's a little countdown number going on here. and uh, so like right there and there and everything um, that all relates to my Google calendar here. And so I've got a little Google doc that I've made just to kind of um, keep on track. And so I am right here. And so I need to be rigging the suit because that is due tomorrow. And you'll notice that um, I want to be done here. And so um, I've given myself a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, in case some of these things I've estimated incorrectly, um, which happens. So, um, but you can see that some of the things are going to be more intense and then other things I can do while I'm doing other things. So like on the 26th, I'll be doing all of these things. 27th, I'll be doing all of these things. Um, but 27th through the 29th, I'm just going to be doing this one giant scene. And so I've got everything laid out. All of this stuff relates to this stuff. These due dates relate to these due dates. And as I cross these off, I can mark them. They're starred because I was making sure that every card that I had ended up in the calendar and got scheduled. And then when I come back over here, what I'll do is as I knock these out, I'm going to put additional stickers on there so I can kind of move these around. So here's like the full storyboard um, of what's going to go on. So super small thumbnails. That's going to give you a a scale there um, and then um, let me get out of this so then I've also been working out like how some of these characters move and so I've got stuff like this where there's like a basic drawing but right here you'll see I've started labor labeling the anchor points because I'm going to be doing a shape tween and so I need like number four to move from this position to this position Need number one to you know shift over as that happens and so there's like some of that like here's how the collar is going to work it's going to have one piece here one piece here and then it'll have these two lines and then those will kind of mask each other as they kind of slide in and out and so that'll give me kind of the ability to turn him three quarters so we'll kind of see how that works um this is a little like fly character so a lot of the characters that i'm uh, a lot of the characters that I'm working on, um, I've kind of mapped out kind of what's going on. And I've got all those notes here in Trello. So um, we've got like head turns, different experimentations with wings. Um, you know, this is what it would look like as, they, as they're as they facing away from you. Um, here's me mapping out like how to rig this head turn. And then um, some kind of play with uh, front and three quarter how the eyes might look and so anyway all that is kind of coming together and we're trying to figure out everything and I don't know why I'm saying we um, you know here's some more um, here's another where I'm going through and I'm looking at you can see like he's got these oh, where's my finger he's got these little whatever those are called mouthpieces and um, I'm animating like the stages of how those are going to like move and wiggle. Um, three quarter character, um, getting some story beats down, sketching out how he might look sitting at a drawing table. Um, this will be a scene where he's waving, working through some more um, story beats, measuring with eye measurements to make sure that when I'm doing him that he's always, you know, four and a half by six um, across so that he doesn't like look like something else. Um, this up here was my initial attempt at uh, keeping track of all of my assets. And this is over here is my initial attempt at keeping track of all of my uh, characters and the angles that those characters are in. So this is kind of a really early and it has evolved into 
uh, you know, this whole, this whole deal here. So I've also been running, just started this week. So I'm going to, I'm going to run every day, um, for the next four weeks, at least I'm going to do a, kind of a meal replacement thing that I sent away for on Amazon. So we'll see how that goes. So we'll see if we can uh, we can drop some weight, build some muscle while I'm doing all this. Um, yeah, and then uh, I got back from vacation. I wanted to show you uh, some of the things that I picked up. So these are some of the uh, some of the books I saw. Um, I'm a huge Joel Jones fan, and um, and so this is one of her earlier books. It's interesting to see her earlier style and how it's evolved into this style over here much more uh realistic and nuanced but um it's cool to see kind of the blocky stuff that she was doing before uh deadly class which i i have wanted to read for a long time um, i picked up this book the art of simon and kirby studio and then i got the i have the the original um trilogy and i was kind of holding off in the prequel trilogy but um I got this one because a lot of the reviews said it's amazing what it could have been. And so, and I love storyboards and stuff. And so these are all, these are all storyboards, um, some anatomy stuff and things like that. Um, I found some used copies of, of the flight anthology one and two. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So those are the things that I'm going to, I want to read soon. So that's it. That's what I've done in the last couple of days to get ready for this. So I've got uh, 28 days to get this done, if I don't count Sundays. So that's my plan. We'll see what we can do. This is your time.